Is there anything that we can look forward to that you're working on you can tell us about? Yes, um, so in February I have a short story collection coming out called Stars Above which will be all set in the world of the Lunar Chronicles and will include an epilogue to the books. So uh, readers who want it a little bit more after winter can look forward to that. And then next November, I have a novel coming out called Heartless that is based on Alice in Wonderland. It is a prequel, so it takes place before Alice drops down the rabbit hole, um, and it's focused on the Queen of Hearts. And so it will kind of tell the story of how um, a normal teenage girl would become this kind of uh, vicious, bloodthirsty queen. Did you grow up really liking fairy tales, or is it something that you grew to love as you got older? I always loved fairy tales. Um, from the time that I was about five years old and saw The Little Mermaid uh, in, in theaters, and I just fell so in love with it. Um, and then after that, I was given a book of fairy tales, and one of the stories was The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen, which is of course nothing like the Disney movie. Um, and so that kind of made me very curious to know what else is out there, what other you know, secrets of these fairy tales are not coming across in these Disney movies, and so I became really fascinated. Is there a, one that you really identify with? I have a weird affinity for Rapunzel. Just the idea of being trapped in the tower has like this strange appeal to me. Like, think of all of the writing I could get done. I could read books. I could take up strange hobbies. Um, I think that sounds like a lot of fun. If there's any characteristic or part of a fairy tale world that you could bring into real world, what would it be? Oh, hmm, that's an excellent question. Of course, my first thought is just magic. Simple magic, of course I want magic. Um, but more specifically, this isn't really so much fairy tales, but fantasy in general. I would love it if dragons were like a real thing. Like, and I probably I shouldn't because probably they would cause a lot of chaos and destruction, but how cool would it be if there were dragons? If we could fly on them. Yeah, I know. I mean, if you could like tame them, have a domesticated dragon, that would be amazing. What would you say is the message you hope your fans take away from you and or your books? The message that I personally have taken away from my books um, is that it's really important to stand up for what you believe in. You know, I write characters who are much bolder and braver than I am or was as a teenager. Um, and so even just writing characters who go out and see what needs to be done and do it is really inspiring to me. And I hope that writing them has made me a better person. Um, and I would love it if that, you know, helped other readers stand up for their beliefs too.